can you hear the, the okay the, the, no. the noise the noise the noise the noise somewhere or maybe it's only in mine okay welcome 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 beloved stars beloved sisters beloved brothers welcome to our first foremost uh live very special quantum healing hypnotherapy with beloved Ivalena and uh, if may I invite you to join our conversation our quantum conversation when we travel in the speed of light when we are connected in our higher selves when the soul to soul coherence is most welcome so relax enjoy listen and experience yourself in the quantum world of love where heart to heart with spiritual awakening is yours and yours alone eva back to you darling good morning good morning good morning and thank you for being here with us today and um this is going to be a spectacular session for today uh, yes. we are never setting the topic anymore if you have noticed because we are never going in that direction in a way so i'm looking forward to see where this journey is taking us and uh, once again we are bursting limitations we are stepping out of our comfort zones and uh, that is a reminder for us and for everybody who is listening here it's time to raise up in your own light step out of your comfort zone and uh, explore what is out there and we are doing it by going live with this uh, yes. quantum session and yes. not having a clue where we are going what will appear and how the end results are going to be and yeah. that's the beauty of it you yeah. don't always have to know you just need to have the guts to do it yes and i think about uh, that the exploring is the is the it's the subject yes it's the subject of the soul exploring 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 and uh, uh we are in the session already as you know yes we are in the connection with our l teams yes and what's coming to me is the, the heart to heart uh do you remember how it started for you how heart to heart maybe just in a few words why heart to heart i not so much for oh you, you're thinking about the interviews now right yeah, yeah. heart to heart yeah. heart to heart well I don't want, I, I love to come and say, have conversations with people. I love mm -hmm. to explore the, the power that are driving you to move forward in this world. And I love the spirituality that embraces everybody. And I love to be in that environment. And I, I wanted to bring forth that, um, spiritual empowerment that so many people are holding within themselves and i don't like to make up questions before because when i start to talk with people we are never following those questions anyway because there are always new things that are put in my mind and i get distracted by that and i want to have an open heart to heart conversation energetically and if it's meant to be that will be an amazing time and if it's not meant to be then it will be another amazing time in that lesson so heart to heart is it totally by energetic feelings moving from mm -hmm. heart to heart mm -hmm. and it's totally resonates with me mm. as, the, as the aquarius year is the year of abundance yes for light workers yes in our sharings we share the light we share the love uh, within the heart yes the soul to soul uh, spiritual to spiritual light beings we are the spirituality is uh, very very present now in our uh, coherence and uh, i would like to start eva if you don't mind i, I hope you remember the little little game before the sessions uh 
just to warm up. Yes. Uh, <laughs> you remember the questions and answers. Yes, the quick ones. Yes, the first impression of what is coming to saying. Remember? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. So imagine that I I I bought myself something new yesterday. What was it? I bought myself a dress. A dress. Is it for a man or a woman? It's for a woman. Mm -hmm. um, where this woman is going to? I don't see her going anywhere. I'm just seeing her putting on the dress. Okay. Does she wearing a shoes? I'm not seeing her wearing any shoes. I see her holding a couple of shoes next to her, uh, red shoes. Okay. And I also, on my way to another shop, I, I stopped by uh, a coffee shop. What did I get from the coffee shop? Well, you get uh, coffee with a lot of cream within it, whipped as a foam laying on the top of the coffee. Mm -hmm. I can smell the, the uh, coffee sounds. Yes. Mm -hmm. Did I put sugar in it? No. Okay. And then I met a friend. Was it a, a, a man or a woman? You met a man. Yeah. A man. Yes. Okay. Do I know him? Or oh, in other words, did I know him? Did I know him? I would say that there is a connection between the female and the man, not in this reality, but in a spiritual reality. Yes. Mm -hmm. And as we were walking together, <laughs> with this my friend right he showed me something what was it a new horizon thank a new you world laying before you thank you Eva. and as we gathered here in the light space i welcome you to take a deep 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 breath deep breath in this deep breath in And imagine the blue grass, beautiful blue grass under your feet. And something appearing just in front of you. A magnificent, huge, golden light sphere. And the sphere is getting closer and closer to you. Actually, the sphere is all around you now. And you feel, you sense the particles of this golden light. merging with your body and your body feel relaxed comfortable ready to discover something new with you and as you are taking another breath in, in, in. We are starting a new journey, a time machine. So this magnificent golden sphere of light, it will be a time machine for the journey ahead. Anything is possible. Anything is possible. And we will be traveling very slowly, very slowly from one stop to 
another stop. And the journey starts now. Be there now. Where is the first stop? Describe it for me, please. Well, the spiral's light is still there with me. It's like a sun on the horizon. Mm -hmm. Sun. There are. I'm not sure if it is moving up or is going down over the ocean. And it feels like I am standing on top of a hill observing a town either in the dawn or in the dusk and there are buildings, silhouettes of buildings mm -hmm. I can't see them so clear because it's a bit mm -hmm. um, okay I believe there is a building outstanding building be there now and tell me what you see well, it's a high tower house and the structure is like a smooth, almost mirror-like polish from outside of the house, reflecting a bluish light. Mm -hmm. Very tall, mm -hmm. very huge. And I can see the light from the sun. Mm -hmm. Who lives in this house? Sorry. No, I can see the light mirroring everything cool. on the top of the building. The house seems to be not inhabited yet. Mm -hmm. But who lives in the house? Who it's, lives? It's not in the inhabited house? yet. There's yeah. no one living there yet. Okay. But I believe. There is a, a sign on the door leading to the house. What the sign says? I can't see a sign on the door. There's a rabbit sitting on the, on the uh, entrance mm -hmm. before the door. Mm -hmm. What is the message from the rabbit to you? There is not a spoken word, it's just as basking in light on the on the front entering to the building that is still covered in the in a grey zone, so to speak. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And we are closing the scene, we are closing this scene, and we are going to another stop. Be there now. Take a deep breath, press in and be there now. Where are you? What's happening? Well, it still feels that I am on a hill as an observer, but I have changed the view. The city is gone and it's only the landscape and the sea behind it. And there still is the sun, a huge sun that is halfway up or halfway down in the ocean. Mm -hmm. Do you remember how old are you there? No, but I can almost feel like I'm 30, 40 something. Mm -hmm. And we are closing this scene, we are closing this scene. And with the speed of light, we are at the other stop now. How old are you now? I can't see that I actually am anywhere right now. I'm not feeling any age. I can still sense that there is a so-called physical appearance that appeared to be around 30, 40, not necessary. And it's more like emerging into that being 
of being a multidimensional being. Who is accompanying your path? There are two beings there right now. One is wearing a purple violet magenta suit and the other one is wearing a blue suit. It's a female and a masculine energy. Beautiful. What is your relationship with them? I'm not sure. Use all of your senses. Use all of your senses. It's definitely a hard connection with mm -hmm. those. Mm -hmm. But I can't sense that I have any deeper relation with one of them. But they are there. And I can see them. And they are from the same region, dressed in different aspects. Mm -hmm. Would you like to All discuss? All the colors are more important. Mm -hmm. Would you like to discover what is the origin of three of you? There are multi, multi aspects moving within those images that I'm seeing. It's not that I can see them holding a shape, it's a, a mixed shape. And I got these eyes before we got here, and there were the eye colors from one of them were almost violet more mm -hmm. so, and the other ones were very blue and it melted down into green and yeah well now the facial structure is moving forward here it's about the hybrids there are mixed origins there not one specific, but they are from the one. Obviously, the source connection. Obviously, get this Lyran connection that I mix from the hybrids. Mm -hmm. That will make sense. Mm -hmm. Who is mm -hmm. guiding you in this realm? Who is guiding you in this realm? Somehow I feel that it's myself that's scaring me. Mm -hmm. And I would like to talk with yourself from this realm. If I take a deep breath, take a deep breath in, really deep, deep, deep breath. Hello, what's your name? Who am I speaking with? I don't get any name, but I can see a hand raising up and saying more like intuitive that the name is not so important. Mm -hmm. and that is not a colorful hand, that is a almost a white ebony colored hand, very slim, mm -hmm. five fingers tall. Mm -hmm. Welcome. What is the message for Evelena? Once again, I cannot receive any message. I will just see an eye that is approaching from the left, an observing eye. Mm -hmm. So as the eye is observing your journey and yourself with this benevolent connection is approaching 
you stop with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So actually when I look into the eyes, I can see the universe mm -hmm. within it. Yeah. Be there now. How about take a deep breath? Deep breath in. And you are in the different dimension. Use all of your senses. Use all of your senses. How would you describe yourself in this new dimension? I can't actually describe myself because I'm not seeing myself. I'm seeing from within, so I am obviously observing what is around me, out of me, or outside of me. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. Tell me more. Yeah, well, this is a universe that we are in, and as a observer, I am um, seeing all this galaxies, structures. What is happening? What is, what is happening? happening right now is that facial structures of multidimensional beings are flushing through in front of me. I can see shapes of facial structures from different collectives that are moving very high speed in front of my eyes. Wonderful. Where are they going? We are not anywhere. We are still in the midst of a cosmic event. And there are, mm. like we are in the center of serving the cosmos all around us with the galaxies. And there are not physical beings, there are just a reminder of all the species that it's actually out there. Tell me more about the knowledge which you're receiving now. That we are from the same source or region, from the first we are moving through the different galaxies, through the different universe, universes. Anyway, though we have separate paths throughout the galaxy and throughout times of space and evolutions, we are still united in our soul's journey of exploring not only ourselves but exploring the curiosity of being in different experiences of the source expressions. To <laughs> live. To unite with those who are around us. Every collective started out as a new expression from the source to explore the rise and, and the evolution, how it's built up and how it will interact with its environment. and others collectives. Is there any particular collective which is working with us now? Mm. 
the most facial structure that is appearing at the moment is actually the mantas. Mm -hmm. Could you please tell me more? Who are they? Why are they here? So very gently in their approach. I can feel that there is a lot of observations, curiosity. What are they observing? If they are observing this planet that we are starting our journey from, they will observe how the experiment is closing, closing in or closing down. Mm -hmm. It's more like they are actually preparing for some expansion of the collective community mm -hmm. to be more approachable in another dimension mm -hmm. or another frequency. Mm -hmm. What is this expansion bringing to Evelena? Connection and unities. Thank you. Actually, with the cosmic family. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you very much. You want to take a deep breath? You want to take a deep breath in? Take a deep breath in. We are moving as a collective to another stop, significant stop on your soul journey. Be there now. Who is with you in this new reality? It feels more like I have moved into a frequency of the magenta color. Concerns that there are someone else there but every colors everything has shifted into this magenta color could you please tell me more about this place i don't see any structures or anything it's more like being in a sphere of color Bare color that are covered with this golden liquid sun colors that can shift from yellow to gold all around it. If you could look. At your feet, please tell me what you see. I don't see a body at all. Mm -hmm. How old are you? I don't see any body at all, and I don't sense any physical age. Mm -hmm. Use all of your senses, use all of your senses, and move to the specific dimension which serves the highest purpose, serves the highest 
purpose. I had just been approached by a small being here mm -hmm. with a And that is different shape than the eyes are actually sitting on the side of the hand, wrinkled like a pug almost in the nose section, with his almost like a mustache hanging down, looking a bit grumpy but feeling very. Lighthearted. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Why is he there with you? He were popping in this magenta film, but we're extracted when we started to talk, so I don't know where where you went. Mm -hmm. What is a specific place in this place? In this reality, a specific place for you. For the time being, it feels like I am in the pillar of light, the tube of light, so to speak. I can see a, this pillar is moving up, and I'm somewhere not at the bottom but somewhere close to the swelling energies mm -hmm. so i'm not going anywhere it's more like i am in this container of light what is this container of light for you Use all of your senses. It's the soul's comfort. <laughs> Safety. Beautiful, beautiful. And we are closing the scene, we are closing the scene. Just take a deep breath in, take a deep breath in. And we are traveling with, within realities. We are traveling to the place which you have never ever discovered before a new place in reality be there now if you yeah. take breath in I'm walking already on a forest path it's a small natural path leading into a green area of trees and bushes feels very refreshing dark green very strong leaves on the trees and bushes and the grass is larger and thicker but it still feels soft, almost like a new day has uh, sprung out and there are still water drops on the green grass. Wonderful. Wonderful. Could you please look at your left hand? Your left hand. What do you see?
almost like a youngster's hand observing what do you sense there is a new body it looks like humanoids but it's not the physical structure that we are using as a uh, thing here and now we are still similar but the structure has shifted slightly it's a shimmer almost like alabaster from the skin Mm -hmm. How would you describe this new body of yours? Like the nest evolution phase, like the hybrid that is going to raise up from the experiment once accomplished. What is this exper experiment all about? Evolving. Mm -hmm. To be synchronized with the environment that is changing. And you know the Lyran face the structure is back there. For me, original Lyran face structure is all turning into a container of white light again. Mm -hmm. This is not the first experiment we have discovered or been through. We are constantly moving in from mixture of the different origins creating hybrids and humanoids in new constellations for a new purpose new habitats new earthly planets for new earthly developments to be able to explore a new reality. Wonderful. Thank you. What is the name of this collective who is working with you now? I'm not so sure that it's just one collective, it's more like a council. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. They are more of the etherical beings. And in this council they are from the Lyrans and the Vegan. Some are more have this feline structure more than others and others are more humanoid like not so much of the feline structure mm -hmm. thank you what is the relation between Evelena and this magnificent collective what is her all They're uh, just smiling. <laughs> yes, we are smiling back. <laughs> we know where the connection are. Mm -hmm. 
one symbol. What is the one symbol of Emelena now? A one symbol appearing and it's more like a shaft with the two. Backward structure. I don't know that symbol. Mm -hmm. I can't explain it. You will remember it. You will remember it. You will remember it. What is the meaning of hybrid? Of Evelina? Why is important for her? Our word we are using here on Earth to describe the mix of two or more energies and altering on the DNA structure that will bring forth a new humanoid and hybrid is the word we are using here not so much in the other realms. We are more using the word of evolving the humanoids into new species. Thank you. The hybrid nation. What is in particular for us for today to know about the hybrid nation on Earth? Well, we are still under observations from the different elemental kingdoms that are still here. There is a blueprint that is taking form. I see the openings of others. Collective as it speaks on the earth. And I got a facial structure from Morgata. If you can tell us, please, in percentage, in percentage, how many hybrids are on earth? No. Would you please expand on it? I actually doesn't get any information at the moment. I just see the facial structure from the the inner habitant from the Agatha, then the facial structure of the female structure of this woman from Agatha and I also receive an image of a golden alien. Mm -hmm. They are not totally here at the moment but they have appeared observing and listening into what we are talking about so either they are here to give some information or they just want to observe where this is going. Thank you. So what is the information, if may I ask you? What is the information so important for us and for your presence here and now with us? What is the information? For the ones that are we living here on Earth is that we need to expand. Now I'm back and I'm speaking as myself. We need to embrace the fact that we are not alone and that we are opening up and we are already having this connection with the others, other collectives out there, both on Earth and the 
dimensional frequencies planning not planning is equaling out merging more together if you want to say that and if we are open up our heart expansions and our consciousness we will receive more of these inputs and the blue not the blue avian the golden avian's facial structure just appeared again in front of me Thank you. May I ask the Golden Avian the message for Ivalena now? Thank you. That we all have our new paths unfolding, and it's important that we are letting go of the past and, and following the the new path that is appearing in front of us, trust your soul connection. And do dare to explore that journey. Find if there to be explored. We just need to walk the path. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, beloved. Thank you. Is there anything in this particular reality for Ivelena to receive today? I don't receive any message with words. I'm just hearing this high-pitched frequency tone and the massive pressure in my heart chakras I'm so chakras because there is not the physical one it's the every heart expansions showing the within the chakras that are emanating from all of our etheric bodies all the layers that are around us and they are almost like calibrating with each other you know tuning in mm -hmm. to get in a harmonic frequency allow 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 this natural natural expansion Mm. That's all. And please take another deep breath in. And we are closing this gate. We are closing this gate in gratitude to our beloved light family. And we are asking the masters of light to step in. happening now Saint Germain has been very present in this frequency and energy it's still very present, but it's not the masculine energy, it's more the feminine aspect of it. We have not mentioned it earlier as Lady Portia, but it's not the etherical beings or the physical beings of Saint Germain or Lady Portia. It's more the frequency that is tuning in. Because everybody's moving forth, even the ascendant monsters are moving forth and they are expansions and expanding into a new reality, even as we speak. So the frequency is adjusting and are aligning within us and we are moving with them, expanding and moving up and integrating new frequencies.
because in a way we are all ascending into a new reality or we are descending more as we all are from the source of alignment there's a, there is no news about that we are old our old old souls even the new ones but there will be a shift that new souls that is entering who actually is old souls from the beginning is getting to use new frequencies and new ways in this evolutionary experience that is about to take place Thank you. Could you please expand about the newbies, the newcomers? They aren't actually newbies. As we said, there are old souls incarnating in a new form, in a new frequency here on Earth. Because the Earth is a, in an expansion and evolving itself and moving into a new frequencies. And the old frequencies is sorted out now. They are almost like they are flushing out from the etherical ground. And it's not that you are not allowed to come back here on Earth, but you will be coming back in your new frequencies. And there is a new learning and expression that you are sort of leading to the new ones entering here to make their own impression on the new earth this new revelation that is taking place the new expansion and expression of the source Someone or some of us, a lot of, us, of the old souls, are going back to their regions, resting, taking a well deserved holiday. And that is said with a smile, but there is a resting and recalibrating of the old souls. You can call it adjustments of frequencies even there. Thank you very much. Could you please tell us more, dear, about this adjustment of frequency? Well, you know that in order to move forth, in order to see things in a new light, we have to get rid of what is in the past that is no longer working for us. And it's almost like you are, let us put it like this, cleaning a room. You need to remove the dust that covers the reality. So when you have removed the dirt and dust, there will still be this room clean, but you will look upon it in a different light and with different perception. And there is even more space if you have sorted out what is no longer working for that room to fill up with a new energy or things that is necessary for a new creation in that space, time and room. May I ask you 
on behalf of Ivelana. Her connection with Kryon and the entourage. Hmm. There will always be Kryon and the entourage. There is not about entities by itself, it's more frequencies. And even here there are layers of frequencies within the Kryon Collective and the Entourage Collective. And even though that they are from the same source and the same, how should we say, species or entities, there are different layers within themselves. And we are moving up and down from those from those frequencies depending on what we are traveling and what we are doing and how I want to communicate. Yes. Thank you. Eva, she's a wonderful communicator in this sense. And as the past is unfolding for her, would you please show her one of the options here and now? I'm just getting a new sphere and I got this word the golden light follow the golden path the golden light but the sphere is very dark within itself and it's the golden light that is around itself but the darkness within the sun of course I call it sun is not the darkness that you are perceiving as a lower frequency or something evil it's a space a space that contains if i may say a pause and i don't know what that pause actually means it feels like a resting place for yes. Um, yes. Yeah. It's the resting place for Evelina somewhere in her consciousness, which would like to talk now. I'm just receiving the symbols of this spear of light that we are just described placed above my head in this almost pharaohic shape and I saw this spiral of light just entering and there are frequencies from the ancient Egypt and there are frequencies of Ra, there are frequencies of a lot of energies that is actually all in my head at the moment. Mm. And I've got this huge pressure in my head right now, so I'm going to let it go. Mm -hmm. Who is working with you in this reality? No. That will be what you are calling an extraterrestrial. Almost the shape of the TV show of E.T. Mm -hmm. Similar to that facial structure. Thank you. The more humanoid appearance. Thank you for being here. Mm. Thank you very much. Mm. 
could you please ask, could you please tell us more about the light codes which we are all receiving now? There are frequencies adjusting your personal spheres. Frequency that are adjusting you. I'm just getting that, adjusting your own sphere. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Thank you very, very much. Is there anything else in this reality for you to receive? Not for a moment. I feel that they are withdrawing themselves. Mm -hmm. Yes. I would like to ask higher self, Evelyn, a higher self, are we complete for today? Or would you like to add something? No, thank you. We are complete for today. Thank you very much. Thank you. And Evelena, mm -hmm. as you are open your eyes in the present day, in the present moment, you will be fully aware of who you are, what you have learned, and about the heart expansion, the multiverse for your soul. I'm gonna count from three to zero, and who's on zero? You will be you will be fully aware of the place where you are at. Three, we are sending gratitude to the light teams and to every around we were allowing to be part of today in your journey. One, you are fully back, 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 back to your body. Fully back to your body. Zero, you can open your eyes, you can stretch your arms, your legs, feeling fully present. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Do you remember what is the date today? What is the date oh, today? Yes, oh, yes. I'm very present here. Very present. I got this image structure of a female that was in the closing session here and just appeared in front of me. And it felt like a mirror reflection. She was just smiling at me, so. Really? <laughs> that was beautiful. How oh, are you, darling? Everything was spectacular. You went so deep and you received so many beautiful informations, yes? So, how are you, darling? How it was for you? It was fun. It was fun. I need some time to integrate. adjust. No, not adjust it, but to integrate the information myself. So, mm -hmm. there's nothing new, there's nothing. Nothing old. There is yes. just this space of but I need to sort out where all the faces are coming from. Yes. And um yeah, I'm not so sure. But for me it was it was, you know, the the the, <laughs> the golden golden avians. Yes, could you please tell us more about it? Uh, that was the most I can't say it actually as avian, but it, that was the word that came to me because the appearance was first blue shifting into the golden, but they changed the structure. So it wasn't the image that we were 
familiar with from watching on the internet the pictures of the drawings of the the blue aliens they mm -hmm. shifted into more like the ancient communication god of Ra mm -hmm. and uh, there wasn't like this there was sort of this hawk or hawk face facial structure but there wasn't a there wasn't this uh, you know yeah it wasn't that shape actually but the eyes were very huge and large and uh, the structure was there and there was this pig in front of them but not, not so sharp and but there wasn't they didn't remind either of the blue avians or the image of Ra it's more like a mixture between them and mm -hmm. um, now the Ra because I will call it Ra the Ra image that appeared will have this more like you know this color mm -hmm. and it was more like the space around it was in the darker shape mm -hmm. and it's almost like you are in a vacuum you know yes. it's just this energy yes and yes. it's placing uh, just above and i know that many of these energies had a peak in the so-called ancient egypt's history and they are still very actively or are reactivating in this moment um in this time on earth mm -hmm. and is supposed to do that and not in that structure that were in the ancient past but the energy is still there and it also is peeling off the layers of what it used to be mm -hmm. and it's not more like they are peeling off the layers, it's more like our consciousness is open up to see the other layers of those, yes. those entities. Yes. So, or frequencies or whatever you want to call it. So, yeah, that is, that is, uh, that was very, very close to me right now. So that was interesting, that was fun. How did you perceive it? Interesting. Mm. And interesting and lots of knowledge, right? What really, really strikes me, and I believe it's a, I see it as a continuum, yes? When I was receiving my messages, right? Mm. Uh, which is so many, like a million of messages, right? But uh, what was the, the continuum, continuum what we started between us? Uh, yes, that's the one. Uh, then progression, yes, for both of us as well. And also the expansion of heart, but in this multi-layered heart, yes. Mm -hmm. We all talk about the one heart, but we have to go beyond this, yes. There's a heart in the heart within a heart, yes. And as you said, it's the layer after layer after layer, yes. So that was very, very present in this in this session. And also the hybrid, yes, and as the continuum, right, uh, from my personal previous sessions uh, with you and uh, with other sessions. But I believe there is something not not spoken yet. It's, it's maybe that's what you said, it's the expansion, yes, the expansion of the hybrid race, yes. And it also comes in this consciousness, yes? If you are more aware that you are hybrid, they can pour more this hybrid knowledge into you, right? Uh, so the hybrid is a very, very open subject, yes? Mm. And it's coming like in every session now. Yeah. Right? Hybrid. So yeah. it is going on ever. And I'm looking forward for the next sessions, yes? To discover more. Yeah. And I can almost sense when we are talking like this hybrids and new energies that are entering into our our realities that many feel like they are if you are feeling connected that you are a hybrid or that you are more advanced and 
in some way and on some aspect the advancement is that is a adjustment to this reality that the old energies aren't adjusted to yes but the advances are not laying in the concept of being more evolved because remember this this is very important and i feel very strongly now we are all all old souls we yes. are from the source so there is a yes. is a unity within us so even we if we are talking about new concepts new dna structures or, or evolving in a cosmic perspective we are all in this together but the old bodies and all frequencies can't adjust in this now into a higher frequency of the cosmic downloads so they need to to be removed in order to open up for the new to flourish yes I'm yes am i using the proper words here yes i yeah. understand you perfectly yeah well then let's just hope that the other one is doing that too i understand you perfectly and i believe that we talk about it many many times yes yes we are. get ready for the shift in consciousness in the layers yes as well mm. eva yeah thank you thank you for today we will speak shortly yes Thank you. I'm very honored. I'm very honored to to share this space of love with you. Me too. Thank you. Thank, thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you, beloved brothers and sisters, for the cooperation in the heart. The cooperation in the reality which we didn't know, but we know now. In this cooperation in collective thinking. As the thinking is leading a new way, as the heart is much more present, the presence of yourself in the multi-layered universe. So I welcome you to our next, I believe, session. Um, I welcome you to your own session. Please listen to it again and again and receive every time a different information. A different downloads for you. Thank you for being being with us. Namaste. Namaste.